Welcome back to tonight's Bunker Boys. I'm Kent Brockman. And I'm Toast the Noan, and we're live at the Skogland Territory. In another step on the long road to marriage equality, the Immolator has approved the first legal human zombie wedding, a milestone in relations between the undead and the soon to be dead. I'm all for anything the Immolator, glory unto him, deems acceptable, but you wouldn't catch me 50 miles of that wedding, even in my Kia saw bike. In other news, the new Skogland Animal Cl Rescue Clinic has started a radioactive cat rescue project. If you see any glowing green cats lurking around, be sure to call 1-800-MY-CAT-IS-GREEN to have them immediately removed. They advise you not to approach, catch, or feed them for your safety. Through, through weeks of debate and battles in Turbo Congress, an $8 trillion dog axe relief package has finally been approved. This relief fund is coming both against and for the zombies, including special funding for new bullets, brains, filtered water, and an agreement that one out of every 15 humans will have their knees broken to slow them down. First package of relief will be coming within the week. This past weekend, Rob Zombie hosted the very first Zombie Fest, where both the dead and undead were welcomed on rock and roll at the festival. There was one report of a zombie killed, but otherwise the event was a success. In a quote from one of the attendees, it was a good night to be unalive. Hold on a second there, Toast. Looks like we're getting a breaking report. The Immolator has been defeated in the Freak Dome and General Easy has been confirmed to be taking over control of the Skogland as the new warlord. General Easy, the super tall, arm replaced with the buzzsaw, used to work at the Foot Locker. I think I know him. Eh, no. Reports are saying that General Easy will be looking to expand the, to a workforce with child labor, grant a painful death to the Rage Bandits, and fund an expedition to the Ozarks to reap its magical waters. <laughs> Great stuff. We're going to Johnny from next door with the weather, and then we'll be back with an exclusive interview with the new General Warlord, General Easy. Thank you, Kent and Toast. Yes, today is a little blustery and wet outside, so be sure to bring your umbrella if you'll be venturing outside of your shelter. A short Sharknado will be running through the center and eastern territories, but should subside by later this afternoon and be bright and sunny the rest of the day. A dust storm and temps up to 500 degrees will be seen tomorrow and for the next few days to come. Light acid drizzle to come Friday evening and through the night, but beautiful, partly cloudy 72-degree days will be here all weekend long. Now back to you, Kent and Toast. Now that looks like a pleasant weekend to come. Yes, this weekend will be perfect for running any errands outside the shelter. Oh, and I can't wait to get out and enjoy this nice weather. Radiation will be down, so it'll be perfect to go gas mask free and breathe the semi-less hazardous air. Definitely. Be sure to lather up on your SPF 3000 before going out, though we don't want to catch any of those harmful UV rays. Now that's for sure. Well, coming back from the break, we will be joined by the new warlord of the Skogland Territory and see what he's been up to lately. Welcome back to Bunker Boys. I'm Kent Brockman. And I'm still Toast the Knowing. And we're back with a very special guest, the new warlord, General Easy. Death to those who oppose me, and thanks for having me, guys. So, General Easy, you came straight here from a victory in the Freak Dome, and we are honored. It must be exhilarating to see your opponent slowly lowered into lava after a humiliating defeat. Of course, Kent, nothing beats the rush of victory. Well, except Omega Crank. But I gave that stuff up when I first dreamed of becoming warlord of the Skogland Territory. See kids, dreams can come true. And speaking of kids, I heard you have a plan to finally make them a value to society. Yes, I've always believed that children have been our most valuable resource, and I'll put that resource to use. Their tiny hands mean they can reach deeper into machinery that would otherwise dismember a full person. It's about time, really. 
Right. You also promised to deal with the rage bandits who were recently reported raiding moisture farms in the area. Yes, we will be bringing death upon them from the terror they have caused. Something the emulator, or should I say, the dumbulator, was unable to accomplish. The people of the Skoglin territory will finally be free of their reign of tyranny. And as a man who is very fond of his arms being attached, we welcome your reign of tyranny. Now, General, you're a man of both rich spirit and rich in liquid assets. Do you have any special plans with your newly acquired slush fund? I'm glad you asked, Toast. Yes, I'm preparing a grand expedition beyond the Yellow Cake Valley to the Lake of the Ozarks. Our greatest oracles have confirmed that the waters will grant me incredible powers. Wait, oracles? And I'm announcing for the first time on your show that there's open recruitment uh, for the expedition. Uh, I'm sorry, General Easy. Uh, we're, it seems we're running out of time. Um, I, think, I think that'll be all for tonight's episode of Bunker Boys. Good luck with the oracles. Yeah, I'm toast. Yeah.